Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Been a long time coming. I am back for Hearthstone. Someone has requested I return to Hearthstone. They like the videos on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my first video on YouTube in a long time. Do a little bit of Hearthstone delving. Now, it has been quite some time. The last time I played was when... Hunter decks were pretty much broke. So let's go find my hunter. And basically, yeah. Hunter decks back when I was playing were basically one ofs. Based around Zephyrus the Great. Along with, let's see if I can't find him here. Dino Tamer Brawn. So yeah, they were basically just simple one of decks. Um, that is, like I said, this is the last time I've been playing. It is nice to know that they're finally implementing Dark Moon Fair into the grand scheme of things. I mean, it's been in World of Warcraft for quite some time. Been a very big staple of the game. Good to see it move over to Hearthstone. If you guys like the videos I'm doing, smash that follow button. Or subscribe button, I'm sorry. Smash that sub button. Uh, tell your friends. Come visit me on Instagram. There will be a link in the description below. Now, for my return to Hearthstone, it has been quite a bit of time. And the chicken ranking is um, quite accurate at this point. Um, I'm very rusty. So let's crack the knuckles and let's get into it. I am going to be using my Hunter deck since it is technically still standard. Uh, like I said, that deck does work on one ofs. I can't guarantee that'll hold up in the current meta. But at the time, it was... Eh, I wouldn't say it was meta. But it was probably as close as my collection would have gotten me to it. Now, I have been doing a lot of... MTG Arena. And with that being said, the one thing I have missed about Hearthstone is when you mulligan or you shuffle your hand back in, unlike in Hearthstone and MTG Arena, you have to shuffle your entire hand. So it doesn't matter if you're just looking for that one card or you have one card that's really kind of throwing your hand off. In Hearthstone, you can shuffle your your entire hand, maybe two cards, maybe one card, or you can just keep it like I did. Now, let's see. Okay, quests. Still. Oh. Yep, I remember that one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to drop this. We're going to get my scavenging hyena going. Now, if I remember about priests, they do have a couple of kill spells. Uh... I believe they're Shadow Words, I think. Yep, Shadow Word Pain. Damn. I think there's also Shadow Word Death, as if, if I'm not mistaken. So what we're going to do is we're going to just shoot him. Now, in order to kick off his quest, he needs to restore 15 health. Now, if he wants to use his mana to heal himself, he won't really be able to play anything. Unless he's got like a one drop, uh, there is a healing minion I know of that is still a staple now as it was back then. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop Primordial Explorer. And that will let me uh, discover a dragon. And we're going to grab uh, gain plus one attack and taunt and that's spell burst. Death Rattle, summon a 3-4 Dragon Rider. Well, I'm not going to see any of these anytime soon anyways. But back when I was playing, there were Explorer Dragon cards. And they had usually one trait plus Battle Cry Discover something. Like with my Primordial Explorer, I got to discover a dragon. So what we're going to do... As we're going to get Timberwolf out. That will feed into Kill Command. Oh, shit. Oh. 
Okay. That didn't look quite right. So, my combo did blow up. And as you guys see, that kind of was a little bit of a whoops. All right, everybody dies. He heals. Thankfully, his mana's gone. All right, so we're going to drop clear the way. That's my, like, side quest. And basically, let's see here. I'm actually going to turn this down a little bit. There we go. Sorry, guys. I'm still getting used to the uh, headset. Okay, so... My side quest is clear the way. I get to summon. Th I need to summon three rush minions to kick it off. My reward for doing so is a four-four Griffin with rush. Okay. Choose a friendly dragon. Add a copy of it to your hand. Deal five damage to a minion. Yes. Now the other difference between um, MTG Arena and Hearthstone. is that as you saw before if you don't hold down a cursor on something you can end up whacking yourself where in magic the gathering it will automatically target your opponent unless you really want to move the cursor back and target yourself so that was my you know oops now i want his mana pretty much depleted for what i'm about to do since my mana has hit is going to hit seven I'm going to drop Dino Tamer Brawn because my deck does not contain any duplicates. And that will give me King Crush, which is a 9 9 charge dino. Actually, he's an 8 8 dino. I'm sorry. There. Now, just like that, I've taken down 12 of his health. And I still have in hand my marked shot. You think this is your time? Play all cards your opponent played last turn. Oh, shit. Yo, find me whatever the action is. Thankfully, though, he didn't get my 8-8. Eight, eight, so, you know. Reasons. Thankfully, though, in order to get through, he's going to have to go through... My little beasties. I do not control a secret. I... Okay, uh, let's see, deal four damage to a minion, sure, maybe I'll get lucky and get some damage, summon a random de demon companion, summon two beasts that cost five or less from your deck, give them rush, uh, yeah, And we're just going to summon him just because. Swing there. Swing there. And my turn. I've already got him down to six, so I really only need a couple of, eh, I want to say decent kill spells. Uh, yeah. Destroy a minion, invoke Galakron, time rep. Well, at least that takes care of a good portion of his mana. I also took care of my 8-8 uh, eight, eight dino. Okay. And then he's probably going to heal. Oh. Well, that's a thing. Thankfully, though, it can't swing again. So, yeah. Uh, Yeah, that's probably what we're going to do. Yeah, why not? We're going to get her out. There. Now, the thing I love about Onyxia, and why, if I have the card, I usually try to run her, unless, of course, I can, you know, pull her from a Dragon Explorer, is the fact that she just basically gave me a shit ton of little guys. And pretty much all this is at this point is a stall tactic. Because at this point, I'm just trying to hold on long enough 
to get Deathwing going. And I want him to play some of his biggins. Spend all your mana to destroy a minion with that much or less attack. Okay. Okay. It'll have rush though. Well, let's see. I'm going to get those cheap shots in. Now, if I do two damage there. Wait. Okay. And discard my entire hand. Um. Yeah, we're going to do this. Okay, Griffin. That helps. I will trade this for that. Trade that for that. Now, basically, what I'm trying to figure out here is how to kind of get past that 8 7. I really don't want to discard my or use my death wing to kill my hand granted yes that'll pretty much kill everything that he's got in play at this moment but I also know that he is getting closer to popping his obelisk yeah he heals wish was a wacky give death wing charge all right so we're gonna freezing trap I want to get my Griffin out that's gonna trigger this which is going to give me a 4-4 Griffin with char or with rush kill that so that's not an option now, what I built most about this deck is I tried to kind of find little tricky ways of bouncing an opponent's creature or making it so that, say, playing a big creature is more of a hindrance than a benefit. Okay, so he's going to blow up my creatures anyways. He's going to swing. Thankfully, that's going to bounce it back to his hand and make it cost two more. I'm still going to take 17 damage, which is, or 5 damage, which is fine. Uh, I could blast him. Yeah, I'm going to get that guy going. Get this guy going. Hit him with a dart. And what I just get? Pressure plate. Okay. Well, since he does seem to like to cast spells. Little pressure plate never hurt anybody. Okay, so you got my 5-5. Five, five. He swings there, sure. Ooh. Uh, I don't want to fire that. Now what the hell I'm going to do it. I mean, I'm going to get rid of my hand, but I kind of wish he was more of a game changer as far as, like, a kill spell. Ah, shite. Well, that's okay. You wasted your mana. I still got my guy. And that kind of saved my bacon right there. Thankful, thankfully, pressure plate, which I didn't know if that was going to trigger because at the time he played that spell, it he had no creatures in play. But thankfully, 
Uh, first on the stack, last out. So he played it, took my creature, which triggered my spell, and yeah. You gotta love secrets like that. Okay, well, that's kind of pointless, but sure. Three, eight. Yep, 12 damage. Damn. Okay, well. Let's see if I can find it or not. Okay, or not. I think he might have just realized the oops. I mean, unless he's gonna heal. I mean, okay, that thing doesn't have charge, so add a random priest card to your hand. Thy blood be born again. Okay, is he looking for a kill spell? Does he have a damage spell? Wow. GG. Okay, so I was actually going to concede that match, but uh, yeah. I win. Alright, that's my three wins. That ranked me up. That gave me my 60 gold. Uh, play 25 cards in play mode. That's a quest I'm working on. And that'll get me cards for Sholomance. Play four games in trial by Fellfire Challenge. Sure. Okay, so... Given that I am very rusty, clearly, and I haven't really built a deck in several months, if I had to guess, I would say that that guy, had he not gone after my creature, he would have won that match, so I'm going to give him props for that. Um, in all other cases, I will say the Hunter deck is still viable in the current standard meta, if even at only uh, the lower ranks, which are basically, you know, chicken probably to 22-ish, probably. But I do want to thank you guys for dropping in. If you guys like the videos, let me know. A shout out uh, to the comments for that brought me back to Hearthstone. I will be kind of trying to continue my hearthstone on youtube uh twitch i'm gonna keep more for mtg arena uh maybe kind of try and balance them out kind of split the week between the two but as always guys i want to thank you guys for dropping in you guys rock and as always if you like the videos smash that sub button and come join me on instagram and i will see you guys next time